So today we're just going to go through some basics of Photoshop uh, with manipulating images uh, with like profile shots uh, such as you know self portraits and, and things like that. So uh, basically what I've got is I've got an image here if I just minimize Photoshop of a model. Uh, this isn't my image, it's just off the internet. Now if I drag this image into Photoshop here, uh, what it will do is it will load the image up and then basically you can see here that we've got an untouched image of uh, this particular model. Now you can see that she's got a freckles uh, and a, a couple of marks on her face, um, which is you know what you'd expect from a normal person. Um, but as we've you know come to know, when you see magazine photos, um, you see you know these flawless women without any you know imperfections on their face. So what I'm going to do is show you how to remove um, those sorts of imperfections, such as freckles uh, or little marks on their faces. So what you want to use for this is uh, there's a special tool in Photoshop called uh, the Spot Healing Brush. Now basically what this does is it sources other areas of um, the picture or in this case the face. Um, so when you apply the spot healing brush um, it will actually remove that particular blemish. Um, so as you can see there I just removed that little blemish uh, just by her eyebrow there. So if I go command Z uh, you can see that it brings it back there and if I go command Z again it will it'll take it away as well. Um, so you can remove stuff like freckles here um, and, and freckles over here as well. Uh, and you can basically apply it to, you know, all over a face uh, as much as you want. Now, obviously, uh, you want to leave some if you are doing this um, sort of work because you don't want them looking, you know, ridiculously fake. Um, a lot of the times you'll see on magazine covers where they look a little bit too fake and you sort of go, hmm, they look a bit strange. Um, but basically, you can just go along and apply um, this effect just to remove all these blemishes. And... Once you've done that, uh, you'll actually realize that a lot of the facial structures and the, the shapes of women's faces on magazine covers are also um, not quite as, um, you know, as they seem. So if I go into this other tool called uh, Liquify, so you go up the top here into Filter, and then we'll go down to Liquify. And uh, what you can do with this Liquify tool is actually manipulate the bone structures of, um, you know, photos. Uh, and this is particularly useful when you're doing it on, you know, models. Um, so uh, basically you can adjust, you know, the, the cheekbones of them, you know, their jawline. So if I wanted to bring this in a bit, I can simply do it like that. Um, give her a, a sort of more defined cheekbone and, and jaw. Um, and, you know, you can raise her chin up. Uh, now that particular tool there is called the Ford Warp Tool. Um, you've also got a series of other ones like the Bloat Tool, uh, the Pucker Tool and the Reconstruct Tool. Uh, now with the Bloat Tool, what you can do is you can actually enlarge particular features. Um, so if you wanted to make her, say for example, her lips bigger, you could also do that as well. And uh, if you wanted to make her eyes smaller, you can just adjust the size of your brush here, so which is on the side here, brush size. Uh, otherwise, you can also use the left and right brackets on your keyboard, um, and that's what I've been doing here. So if I put that over an eye like that, you can actually slowly start to adjust her eyes. Now, as you can see, what I've done is a little bit strange, but you can get the idea that if you actually do it properly and uh, do it within the realms of not looking unusual, you can actually make um, quite a you know, well-defined person. And you can see the difference there with the, with the face um, just what I've done just then. So if we look at the original image now, so you can actually see that the difference that I have made with the two images, um, you know, removing the blemishes, um, softening out her skin a little bit and enlarging her lips and, and redefining her, her jaw and uh, eyebrows and eyes there. So there is, you know, a lot of powerful features uh, inside of um, Photoshop, as you can already tell. Um, and yeah, that's why a lot of the people you see on magazine covers uh, don't quite look as they as they really seem. <laughs>